Old Man Sarge here, back again. We're going to prepare for another game in uh, 2020. During the COVID crisis, <clears throat> I have a few friends that were that are going to join us, join my uh, friend that Normo plays this and I, and uh, we're going to launch this game. It should be interesting. So, just to let you know the teams, I have one of my friends who will be playing Great Britain. Another person that we know will be playing the United States. If not, then I will be playing the United States if that person cannot make it. And if that's the case, then my friend that's playing Britain will also play all the minors, including China and France. We have another player playing Germany and Italy. Green chits representing 10, red chits representing 5, just in case you're curious. Another person playing Japan. <clears throat> and then I will be playing the Soviet Union. So, we are going to uh, change some rules around a little bit, make things more interesting. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to introduce from the anniversary edition the rule in regards to technology. And I got these chips from a, can a company in Canada and uh, they represent uh, a technological role. So how this is going to work is anniversary edition if you're familiar with it. You spend five dollars per roll. Let's say you spent ten dollars you'd get two chips. You roll two six-sided dice and if you receive, you get a six, then you get the technology and the chits go away. If you fail to get a six, then you keep those two chits and you roll the following turn. And you don't even have to invest any more money, but if you did, let's say you bought another five dollars, then you can roll three dice. You can only get one technology a turn, and it doesn't matter how many dice you roll, if you succeed, then all the chits disappear if you succeed. So it really kind of encourages you to do at least some te technological development. So you should always probably spend $5 almost whoever you are. I'm not saying 100%, but like even the Soviet Union might want to spend 5 because they'll get to roll the entire turn, entire game to try to get some of the technologies. So what are the I'm going to add two more two more technologies. <coughs> One is heavy tanks. Heavy tanks are bought separately from medium tanks, or, or tanks in general. They attack on a 4, defend on a 4, but they cost $8 a piece. And they have all the other abilities that a, medium, that a regular tank has. And then we're going to do heavy battleships on the second column. So it's going to be 1 through 7 with the reroll of 8, or possibly we'll just have people choose what they want if they roll an 8. So the another one is heavy battleships. They cost um, twenty five. So they're five dollars more than a regular battleship. They have three. Uh, they sustain three hits instead of two, and um, they attack on a five and defend on a five. So those are the two additional rules that we're using. Everything else is going to remain the same. Jet fighters can be purchased separately. I don't even know if we're going to do that because fighters, when they become jet fighters, are they just go up in strength from a 3 to a 4, I believe. So I'm not sure. We'll have to look at that a little bit further before the game begins. So I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i be back and talk about my strategies. I didn't want to include that in this particular video because I don't want my opponents to know what I'm thinking. But I want you to know what I'm thinking before the game begins. Now, just to let you know the players, the player that's playing Britain and possibly all the minors, if not, he'll be playing Britain, Italy, or pardon me, Britain, India, and Australia. He's played <coughs> this game one, uh, one or two other times, so he knows to some degree how the game flows. The person playing Germany is a player that's never played with us before, but he claims that he has played a few games. And I've played other games with him, 
and he picks up games really well, uh, and he really cares about the strategy and and everything on those games. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, but I'll, I'll talk that about that more detail in the next video. The person playing Japan is my opponent, who I've always played these games with, who's really good, and uh, won the last game I think we played with the Japanese by getting the uh, victory points that he needed, even though his nation was, was getting pushed back. And uh, let's see, I'm playing the Soviet Union. The guy that is playing the United States has never played before, I do not believe. I don't even think he's played an Axis and Allies game before. He may not be able to make it, however. We'll find out <coughs> later this week if that is the case. And my allergies are kicking in, so I keep sneezing, especially since i got a couple cats now. But we will return, and we will talk about the strategies that I'm employing as the Soviet Union. Be right back. Well, you'll probably have to watch a different video for that. Sorry. <laughs>